just showing you the supplies that you're going to need. Um, starting off with flowers. And these are already the ones that I cut, so they're pretty small. But I bought them and they came a little bit longer than this, but pretty much um, three in a set. I got them for five dollars or I think four for a whole set. And if you go to Michael's, one of these flowers is like $5.99. So you definitely want to go not to Michael's for flowers because you're going to end up spending way too much money on flowers. Right, you're also going to need some containers and these I did get at Michael's just because I went to Michael's first before I went to the flower market. But I would recommend going to the flower market because that's where I saw these a little bit more inexpensive. So I think these were uh, maybe $4.99, which is still not that bad. And I'm only making six centerpieces. I also got these little jewels and I got them in this aqua color and yellow because the color scheme is white, yellow, and sort of this aqua mint um, shade. So these are the three colors for the baby shower since it's for a boy. And then you're also going to need some sort of natural fabric. This is just um, burlap. You can obviously just get whatever size that you want to get, but I like this pretty thick one because it covers up a lot from the bottom. And you also want to get twine. So I've had this one. I got it from Michaels. This is also from Michaels. Just find it in many different sizes so you don't have to specifically get this one but I like that this one's a little bit thicker and uh, that's what we're gonna use and you also need some um, flower tape which is just some green tape for the flowers because you want to make sure that you get them nice and secure so they don't fall apart you're also gonna need a pair of scissors to cut your fabric and a pair of dykes and a hot glue gun First thing that I'm going to do is just start by snipping the stems to the desired length. Um, of course you want to go with whatever size fits properly inside your container and I also um, remove all of the leaves and the tiny little stems that sort of peek out through the sides because you want it to be nice and smooth. Now I'm just going to grab some flower tape and start by wrapping it around the, the stem of the flower. I actually ended up taking this off and then placing a rubber band first to reinforce it and then I covered it up with the flower tape to make sure it's nice and pretty from the inside as well because it sort of peeks out through the yellow gems. You can see it a little bit so you want to make sure that it's nice and neatly covered up. And then here I'm just going to take the fabric and start by measuring it to see how much I need for each container. I'm just going to cut it with my scissors and with a hot glue gun I'm just going to add some glue to the edge, the bottom edge and then what I started doing was adding to the top edge as well. And I'm just going to roll my container onto the fabric like this. And you want to be very careful because the glue does tend to sort of ooze through the little holes a little bit so you don't want to burn yourself. I'm just going to add a little bit here to just close up the container like that and then just squeeze it a little bit now that the glue is a little bit more dry and there you have it. Now I'm just taking some tissue paper and stuffing the bottom part of the container all the way up to where the fabric ends and I'm doing this because I want to fill up the bottom with something very you know cheap and affordable that's gonna just take up a lot of space so I don't waste all that space filling it up with the little uh, stones or gems and here I'm just gonna take some twine just to you know add some more decorative detail and just tie a little bow and then I'm gonna start by filling it up with my gems these like I said I got them at the flower mart I'm just gonna start by filling them in and going all the way to the top And here's the final look guys. I really love the way they came out and a lot of people really love these as well. They're simple but still very cute and they're great for an outdoor baby shower. Um, I also did the hand tag by itself with just cork paper. It says so tiny so small so loved by all and I just traced it with um, a template from the internet. Here's the cake and the fruit basket and everything else. Thank you so much for watching and check out my blog for more pictures, personal pictures of the baby shower. Thank you and bye.